John, John here, guys. guys. And this, this is the Catalyst Machine Works, Works Cannonball Beast Class. Class. The cannon was birthed centuries ago, and its exact origins are shrouded in mystery. What is known is that gunpowder itself was developed in China as part of the Fire Lance. But no matter the country that birthed the cannon, what is certain is that for nearly a thousand years, it has been the original weapon of mass destruction. Whoever wielded the ability to hurl cannonballs through the air at their enemies were ensured a tactical advantage and a great spectacle to all who observed the assured victory. Today, the Cannonball is the latest X and Beast class frame developed by Catalyst Machine Works. The name still inspires both awe and terror in its technological superiority. The name no longer inspires fear on the battlefield, but fear on the racetrack. That's right guys, this is not a 5 inch quad, this is a beast class. And this thing is a beast indeed. Check out how amazing this thing is. Wow, look at all of the components. Look at the size of these motors. Wow. And just take that in, guys. Look at how hard it is to even get the entire thing in frame with how large, huge, and awesome this thing is. Truly a work of art. This technological terror was designed by Neil Whiteley and it was brought forth to fruition by the mad scientist himself, Alan Madprop's Catalyst Machine Works builder. The two in conjunction have forged an alliance that consistently produces these flying machines the likes that the world has never quite seen. So you'll be able to note and take in all of the beautiful attention to detail that was done for this beast class build. Look at the fine craftsmanship, the beautiful soldering that has been done. Look at these giant ESCs. Wow. Can you imagine flying this thing? Can you imagine being behind the sticks, navigating through the air, a projectile of this size, weight, and mass. Now let's do some size comparisons here. Let's see, next to a 65 millimeter whoop. Wow, that thing is absolutely tiny. It's like the size of one of these motors. And lastly, here it is next to a smooth operator. So as you can see, this dwarfs even the largest of quads here. It is a behemoth. It is massive in scope and scale, and it is absolutely beautiful. So what can we say about how large this thing is? The other thing that is large is also the price. The majority of the components in this quadcopter are also quite a bit larger. In fact, the price for many of the components are what you would use on even a premium five inch, um, like one of these quads, and you would multiply it by four. A lot of times you're talking about $100 plus motors, $100 each ESCs, a VAS. I believe that is an Ion V2, which is the same thing I usually run on my goggles. Great antenna. 13 inch props. This thing is running RC in power GTS 4715 size motors that are 360 kV. The electronic speed controller ESCs are done by advanced power drives. They are the F120 
and they are also using APD's power distribution board. Let's check out this battery cartridge thingy. This is really cool, guys. It makes a total of 12S. And you're not using XT60 for these. You're using these super thick wired, um, thick gauge connectors. I forget what the name of those are. I'll put them on the, on the screen. Uh, and there's a nice carbon fiber plate at the bottom that keeps those together. And the cool thing about the Cannonball versus say the Tasmania is that your battery fits in this internal slot right there. So it is absolutely 100% protected the entire time you are running. And when you want to put that battery back in, it's such a satisfying sound. You just insert it into the channel and there's a slot. that runs and then you just kind of pull this tab slightly and that's going to go right in and then you just give it a tie a slight little yank just to make sure it's fully seated remove the long screw that is right here that allows you to lift up this entire cage and see the goodies inside this is a Brain FPV flight controller. And look at the gigantic power distribution board lying underneath that sees all of these extremely thick gauge wires coming from these absolutely gargantuan ESCs. You have right here the earlier mentioned Crossfire receiver and uh, you can see that the Unify actually sits on a little shelf right above going to the camera, which is, I believe it's the Runcam Sparrow. You know, such a complex build. This is not for a beginner. It's not even for an intermediate or an expert. You have to have almost a professional level of build skills. Like, of course, Alan absolutely does. Look at, the, look at these beautiful, giant, shiny solder joints. <laughs> Let's tilt this over and you can see right here the bottom portion of the frame. You can see that the uh, battery is inserted and look the awesome wrap continues underneath. But stay tuned guys because we in the next video are going to go out in the field, get some flight footage, going to meet up with the owner of Catalyst Machine Works, Neil. And it is going to be an awesome time. So if you're interested in this beast class, X class, all of these large classes, and you want to see it in action, um, stay tuned. I do have a little bit of a sneak preview for you at the end here where you can see some line of sight. But I'm going to be bringing this camera out to the field, not just my cell phone that is the footage you're about to see. But we're going to really see and hear the sounds of beast class. This is the Catalyst Machine Works Canon Dodge Beast Class setup. Thanks, guys.